10 Best Picks presents the Top 10 Best Home Printers. Starting at number 10. Brother HLL 2300D. Among Brother's new range of laser printers, the HLL 2300D is an affordable, compact and reliable printer. Priced at merely $118 in retail stores, it is a steel deal for those looking for cheap, double-side laser prints. It is small and compact, measuring no bigger than 30 cm in width. Like all Brother printers, it features a simple black and gray design characteristic of most business printers offered by Brother. The printer offers 26 ppm print speed and is equipped with 8 MB RAM for delivering fast and efficient printing. The resolution offered is 2400x600 pi. The tray can hold a maximum of 250 sheets along with another single sheet feed for shorter sizes like envelopes, labels and thicker paper. The best value you get out of this printer is the automatic two-sided printing. Software and connectivity, all the printer's functions and administration are supplied via the software installed during setup. It is compatible with all types of operating systems including Windows XP and above as well as Mac OS X from 10. 7. 5. The installation is quick, simple, and straightforward. The main drawback is that, unlike other more expensive printers offered by Brother, this does not give you wireless connectivity options. So, you'll not be able to print directly using AirPrint, Google Cloud Print, or any of the other storage clouds. The printer does not have an Ethernet port. So, USB is the only way to connect and print and since the device does not include a USB cable in the box, you'll have to get your own cable. Output quality, after you complete installation, you get a variety of printing options, including the toner save mode as well as reduced paper curling. You can select the default print output quality of 600 pi or choose, instead, 300 pi or HQ1200 mode capable of delivering up to 2400x600 pi. You also have the option to choose between single and double-sided printing. The Brother HLL 2300D is small, compact, and cheap and offers quick and double-sided printing. Anybody looking for an affordable mono laser printer will find this good value for money. It comes with Tennessee 2330 and 2350 cartridges and toner save mode for maximum value. At number 9. HP DeskJet 3755. Despite having been around for a few years now, the HP DeskJet 3755 is still one of the best compact printers on the market. Unlike some of the other printers that we looked at, the HP DeskJet is compact, but it isn't portable. This means that it's perfectly suited to people who have limited space at home and still want a printer for their home office, but it won't be any good if you need to print on the go. For that, we'd recommend something like the Epson WF110. But if you're a college student living in a small dorm, or just a city dweller with an apartment that's tight on space, then the HP DeskJet 3755 is here to answer your space-saving prayers. The HP DeskJet 3755 measures a compact 15. 86 x 6. 97 x 5. 55 inches, which is positively tiny as desktop printers go. You should have no trouble fitting this diminutive printer into your home desk setup alongside your home computer. It only weighs 5. 13 pounds too, so it's light enough to be moved around the house if you need it in another room, though it is heavier than some of the other compact printers we've reviewed, like the HP OfficeJet Mobile 200. Print quality is good but not perfect. Regular documents that we printed were marked with several pinprick size ink spots and color printing suffered from some noticeable banding. Black and white documents printed at a reasonable speed of 7. 89 pages per minute, but color documents print much slower at 3. 75 pages per minute. This is to be expected, as color documents usually take longer, regardless of which printer you're using. As an all-in-one, the DeskJet 3755 also comes with a built-in scanner and copier, but the machine's small size necessitates a scroll scanner that scans as it feeds individual pages through instead of a flatbed scanner. The scan and copy quality was fine, but weirdly it defaults to copying at 75% of the original size. You can change this in the settings though. The HP DeskJet 3755 is a solid all-in-one printer for people who only need occasional use out of a printer and don't want anything too bulky. 
The print quality is fairly average, but for the price we still think it's a good deal. Number 8 of my list. Brother HLL 2350DW. When it comes to monochrome laser printers, the Brother HLL 2350DW, which is close in price, features, and capacity to the editor's choice Canon Image Class LBP151DW, is about as entry level as you can get. Also similar to another top pick, the Dell Smart Printer S2830DM, the HLL 2350DW is fast for its lean price, and it prints well overall too. The Dell Smart Printer comes at a somewhat higher purchase price than the HLL 2350DW, but the former delivers significantly lower running costs, thereby making it a better value over time. If your print volume doesn't exceed a few hundred pages each month, the Brother HLL 2350DW should serve your low-volume home-based or small office or workgroup quite well. It should also make a good personal monochrome laser printer. Measuring 7. 2 by 14 by 14. 2 inches and weighing only 15. 9 pounds, the HLL 2350DW is part of a multiple monochrome laser printer release brother announced a few months ago. The HLL 2350DW is one of the lower priced of the bunch, and as such comes with one of the smaller feature sets. For example, its paper handling consists of one 250-page input tray augmented by a one-sheet override slot, and its maximum monthly duty cycle is 15,000 pages, with a recommended print volume of up to 2,000 pages. Keeping in mind, that the HLL 2350DW isn't designed to churn out sleek glossy documents and images, it performed its allotted task, printing reasonably attractive and highly useful monochrome and grayscale documents, quite well in testing. Text looked well-shaped and legible down to the smallest point sizes I could see comfortably without magnification, making text output more than acceptable for all but perhaps the most exacting applications. Granted, there's nothing particularly thrilling about an entry-level single-function monochrome printer. But the Brother HLL 2350DW does print almost fast enough to hinge on being interesting. If you need terrific-looking grayscale graphics and photos, you should look at one of Canon's entry-level models, including the LBP251DW. For lower ongoing monthly running costs, consider springing for a more powerful machine, such as the Dell S5830DN. Coming at number 7. Brother MFCL2700DW. A bargain-priced multi-function printer, the Brother MFCL2700DW offers the printing, scanning and copying features you'd expect, along with some nice features like an auto-document feeder and generous, 250-page paper tray. But the compromise for the low price tag is an MFP that doesn't measure up to the competition in either speed or quality. The 35-page auto-document feeder sits at the top of the MFCL 2700DW chassis and lifts up to reveal the scanning glass. This entire assembly hinges upward to offer access to the output tray, which is a cavity carved out of the middle of the chassis. A small flap hinges upward to keep paper from falling out of the front of the output tray. As with its text and graphics printing, the MFCL 2700 DWS copying and scanning are slower than the average for the laser multifunction printers we tested. It made a black and white copy in 12.5 seconds, a little slower than the average of 10. 7 seconds. But using the Andorin Franks for copying multi-page documents will deliver faster speeds. Our 5-page text document copied in 22. 7 seconds, or 13. 2 ppm. Text documents from the MFCL 2700DW looked as sharp as those from any other model we tested, with heavy letter forms and crisp edges. Black and white mixed graphics did not fare as well on Brother's device with prints showing mild banding in flat areas and lighter text forms than what the Canon MF229DW and HPM277DW produced. Similarly, black and white photos printed with some minor banding on the MFCL2700DW, but looked good overall. The MFCL2700DW offers a very low cost per page and high text printing quality. But performance is slower than average across the board, prints with graphics could be more attractive, and copy quality is subpar. 
Still, if text printing is your primary task and you don't need a speed demon, this cost-effective model could be a good fit. At number 6. HP DeskJet Plus 4155. The HP DeskJet Plus 4155 is an okay all-in-one printer, and despite its compact size, it has both a sheathed and flatbed scanner. However, its overall performance doesn't stand out much, and it's what you would expect from an inexpensive printer. It has a really low color and black page yield, so you need to regularly replace the cartridges if you print a lot. Although the cartridges are cheap, the costs could add up quickly over time. It doesn't print double-sided pages, and it prints slowly, whether you're printing in black and white or in color. Even though it has a sheathed scanner, it doesn't support duplex scanning. That said, it has excellent color accuracy, okay photo printing quality, and the plastic body feels solid. The HP DeskJet Plus 4155 has poor build quality. Even though the plastic body feels solid, its overall design isn't good. It doesn't have a paper tray, but instead has a rear feeder that holds up to 60 pages, which feels flimsy to pull out and put back in. You need to make sure the output tray is pulled out all the way when printing, otherwise your paper may get crumpled. You can only access paper jams from the print head compartment, which can be somewhat tight for larger hands. Also, the scan lid doesn't raise high enough to place thicker items like books. Lastly, the power cable is removable in case it gets damaged and you have to replace it. Terrible cartridge system. The HP DeskJet Plus 4155 uses the same HP 67 cartridges as the HP NV6055 and has a fairly similar page yield. Whether you're printing in black and white or in color, the cartridges don't last long and you have to replace them quickly. There are high yield cartridges you can buy if you want a higher page yield. The HP DeskJet Plus 4155 all-in-one printer has a disappointing cost per print. The cartridges are cheap, but because of the printer's low page yield, you'll often need to buy new cartridges if you print regularly. If you sign up for HP's Instant Ink subscription, you receive new cartridges when you run out of ink. Bad for black and white printing. The HP DeskJet Plus 4155 prints black and white pages very slowly, and its low page yield means you have to replace the cartridge often if you print a lot of pages. It has a sheathed scanner, which doesn't support duplex scanning. If you want to print double-sided pages, you have to flip each sheet of paper manually. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. HP OfficeJet Pro 9015. HP's OfficeJet Pro 9015 is a color all-in-one printer designed for light to medium duty use in small workgroups and micro offices. Like its close competitor, the editor's choice winning Epson Workforce Pro WF4720, the 9015 prints well at a relatively good pace, and it's loaded with the convenience and productivity features small offices need. When you combine this highly capable office jet with a business-level subscription to HP's Instant Ink program, you get a versatile, inexpensive to use AIO that's worthy of our editor's choice award. A 10. 9 by 17. 3 by 13. 5 inches and weighing 20 pounds, the 9015 is about 2. 6 inches shorter and 6. 5 pounds lighter than its higher volume sibling, the HP OfficeJet Pro 9025. That's similar in heft and girth to the Epson WF4720, slightly larger and heftier than the Canon PIXMA TR8520 wireless home office all-in-one printer, and about 3. 2 inches shorter than brother's comparable MFCJ 995 dw None of these printers will take up much room on your desktop. The 9015 standard connectivity interfaces are Ethernet, Wi-Fi, connecting to a single PC via USB 2.0 and Wi-Fi Direct, a peer-to-peer -peer network protocol for connecting your mobile devices to the printer without either it or them being part of a network. Other mobile connectivity consists of Apple AirPrint, Mopria, and HP Smart App. That last one, Smart App, provides drivers and a standard interface for connecting and managing HP printers across several various platforms, including Android, Windows, MacOS, and iOS. As I said about the 9025, the 9015's output quality, especially text, is near perfect, rivaling a good color laser AIO. 
I saw none of the fuzziness sometimes associated with fonts printed in ink, rather than toner, and characters were well-shaped and highly legible, even at small point sizes, making the text more than acceptable for even the most exacting business applications. Our only cause for pause with the Office Jet Pro 9015 is that it has just one paper input source. Otherwise, the 9015 prints well, it's fast, and its running costs are reasonable. If you need more robust paper capacity, the Office Jet Pro 9025 comes with two 250 sheet paper trays. But if your small offices print and copy requirements are more modest, the Office Jet Pro 9015 is a solid performer that's packed with features and thus earns our editor's choice award. Coming in at number 4 of my list. HP Envy Pro 6455. HP's Envy Pro 6455 All-in-One is an entry-level multifunction printer designed for family and home office use. Like the editor's choice Canon PIXMA TR8520 wireless home office all-in-one, the Envy Pro 6455 prints well, if rather slowly, and it comes with a strong basic feature set, including an automatic document feeder for scanning and copying multi-page documents. Also like the PIXMA, the Envy prints good-looking photos. Where the HP AIO tops the Canon, though, is that, when you opt for HP's Instant Ink monthly ink subscription service, the Envy Pro costs much less to use, especially when printing in color. Good print quality, a decent feature set for the price, and low running costs make the Envy Pro 6455 an excellent alternative to our current favorite among entry-level color AIOs for the home and home office set. Part of a recent two-model release in the new Envy Pro 6000 series, the former is the more robust of the two. While there are a few subtle differences between them, it's primarily the 6455's 35-page automatic document feeder that makes it more versatile and a better value. I should note, though, that this is a manual duplexing and or in francs, as opposed to the auto-duplexing variety that scans and copies two-sided multi-page documents without user intervention. Like most of today's entry-level AIOs, HPs provide a series of connectivity options ranging from connecting to a single PC via USB to wireless networking. However, unlike rivals that connect through an array of apps and drivers, the Envy Pro 6455 connects via HP Smart App, which provides several ways to link your computing devices, i.e. laptops, tablets, and smartphones, not only to the printer itself, but also other useful options, such as scanning to or printing from cloud sites, emails, workflow profiles, and more. The HP Envy Pro 6455 prints well, and, if you sign up for HP's Instant Ink subscription program, inexpensively, making it a good value for families and home offices. At Number 3. HP DeskJet 2755. The HP DeskJet 2755 is an unremarkable printer. It's best suited for family use, as photos are passable enough for a scrapbook, while color accuracy is excellent. However, it's a disappointing choice for students, and a bad choice for office use. It has a poor page yield, whether you're printing in black or color, which means you'll have to replace the cartridges often. On the upside, the cartridges are quite affordable. The build quality is disappointing, and those with large hands might struggle to change the ink cartridges. Printing speed is also very slow, regardless of what you're printing. There's a flatbed scanner, which is great if you need to copy old fragile photos, but it lacks an automatic document feeder. The HP DeskJet 2755 all-in-one printer has a disappointing build quality. The entire body is made of plastic, which feels solid and sturdy. The power cord is removable, which is great in case it ends up getting damaged. That said, the cable sticks out of the middle of the back of the printer, instead of the more common backside corner. Also, the scanner's hinges can't extend to accommodate larger books or manuals. Because of this printer's compact size, those with large hands might struggle to access paper jams or the print heads. Also, it lacks photo and paper trays, and its flimsy rear page feeder can only hold 60 pages at a time. Finally, the printer needs to be on to access the ink cartridges. Keep in mind that even if you only print in black, most inkjet printers continue using the color cartridges for servicing tasks, so you'll likely still need to replace them eventually. This printer has decent connectivity options. You can connect to it via Wi-Fi or USB. Unfortunately, there's no Bluetooth support, and you can't use an Ethernet cable. 
Also, it doesn't have external storage support, meaning you can't print from an South Dakota Carter USB flash drive. The HP DeskJet 2755 is unremarkable for family use. While its color accuracy is excellent, photo quality is only passable. Unfortunately, the two cartridges yield is quite low, and they need replacing often. On the upside, they're quite affordable. There's a flatbed for scanning fragile photos, but the hinges don't extend to accommodate thicker books or manuals. Also, it lacks an automatic document feeder and duplex scanning. Not only that, but you can't print off an South Dakota card or a USB flash drive. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Coming at number 2, HP NB6055. The HP NB6055 all-in-one printer is okay for home use. It has excellent color accuracy and good photo printing quality, but it's not very versatile for other types of uses. It has a really low page yield, whether you're printing in color or black only, so printing isn't cost-effective over time as you regularly need to buy new cartridges. It only has a flatbed scanner and doesn't support duplex scanning, so scanning double-sided documents may take some time. It doesn't have a display screen, and instead, it has touch-sensitive buttons to control the printer's actions. Lastly, it has an okay build quality, and the compact size won't take up much space on your desk. This printer has an okay build quality. The plastic body feels solid, and the power cable is removable in case you need to replace it. The input tray has a slider to adjust the width for photos, but it doesn't extend for legal size paper, and there's no dedicated photo tray. It's easy to remove the cartridges, as you only need to unclip them, but the printer needs to be on when you want to replace the ink. You can access paper jams by lifting the flatbed scanner, which could fall fast and hard if you don't guide it back down slowly. Unfortunately, the scan lid doesn't raise enough for thicker items like books. Lastly, the printer offers audible feedback when it's finished a task, which is a nice feature. The HP NB6055 has a disappointing cost per print. The ink cartridges are cheap, but because they have such a low page yield, you have to buy new ones regularly if you print often, and the costs can add up quickly. You can sign up for HP's Instant Ink subscription, so you automatically receive new cartridges when you run out of ink. There's also an HP NB6075 variant, which comes with two years of subscription to the ink delivery service. The HP NB6055 is okay for family use. It has good photo printing quality and excellent color accuracy, ideal for printing family photos. Unfortunately, it has a really low page yield, so you may need to replace the cartridges regularly if you print often. It has a flatbed scanner with a higher resolution, but it doesn't have a sheet scanner. And number 1. HP OfficeJet Pro 8025. HP's OfficeJet Pro 8025 All-in-One, a step down from our editor's choice OfficeJet Pro 9015, is an entry-level to mid-range multifunction inkjet printer designed for small offices and workgroups. Like its higher-end sibling, it prints well at a reasonably fast clip, and when you couple it with HP's Instant Ink Discount Ink subscription program, this OfficeJet delivers highly competitive running costs. It's a strong choice for environments that need to churn out a few hundred to a thousand prints and copies per month. At 9. 2 by 18. 1 by 20. 1 inches and weighing just short of 30 pounds, the OfficeJet Pro 8025 is a few inches bigger all around than the OfficeJet Pro 9015, yet several inches smaller than HP's flagship model, the 9025. Two other highly rated competing AIOs, Canon's Pixma TR8520 and Epson's Workforce Pro WF4720, also have significantly smaller footprints and weigh in at several pounds less than this OfficeJet. Standard 